All right, so real simply, recently in one of my dreams, in the dream flow, <laughs> okay, I saw, very, very simply, a bookshelf, okay? Excuse me. I saw a map of Great Britain, and I saw a large hornet, okay? A hornet crawling across the map of Great Britain, okay, on the map. And then my daughter was in the dream, and I heard her say, okay, in the background, well, all we can do is the best that we can. That's all we can do, right? That sort of nonchalant attitude. So here's what I believe it means. Okay, number one, I don't fully, I think, know what this means, but it's a warning, okay? It's a warning dream. Uh, bees aren't good. Hornets aren't good, right? <clears throat> the Bible says that, you know, lichens, Assyria, okay, in the Old Testament, to like a hornet, to a bumblebee that would come and would pester and would torment the children of Israel. Just like if you kick a bee's nest, it comes and stings you, right? And it's not good, right? So hornets represent demonic invasion, demonic attacks, right? So this is not good. This is a plan of the enemy to attack Great Britain at such a time as this. But it's connected, okay, somehow to the bookshelf, okay? So there's some sort of a pseudo intellectual, I believe, uh, thing that's overcome many of the Christians in developed nations like Great Britain and America as well, right? And there are sons and daughters, like represented with my daughter in the dream, that are just kind of having this, you know, nonchalant attitude. Well, all we can do is the best we can do, and whatever happens is going to happen, you know? And the Lord is calling some real intercessors. The Lord is calling some real prayer warriors, some people that are not just going to lay down and say, well, whatever's going to be is going to be, but will take it upon themselves to fight. Will take it upon themselves to do warfare. The weapons that we have in God are mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. And who's to say that some of the strongholds that are being seen right now in Great Britain and throughout the, the British Empire, who's to see, say that some of those strongholds can't be torn down if we have some warriors, some men and women, like, is, like, like Britain has in their history with Reese Howells and others, who would war with the weapons that God has given them. So I believe it's a warning of attack, so pray. A warning of attack from the enemy, so pray. But it's also a clear warning to those who would be of lethargy, to those who would be spiritually asleep, to those that would take no personal responsibility for their nation and the condition of their nation. That's not what an intercessor does. That's not someone that has, that has the heart of God. Someone who has the heart of God will stand in the gap and we'll say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, move. Lord, help us. So I believe the Lord is calling some fresh, a uh, fresh wave of intercessors in this nation. All right, you don't just have to lay down and let the enemy have his way. Fight the good fight, Amen. He's the author and the finisher of your uh, of your faith. Okay, Jesus is the author and the finisher of your faith. So let him author it and let him finish it. Let him put the exclamation point on whatever it is that you're praying, on whatever it is that you're doing, but fight the good fight of faith. Amen? Because one of these days, I believe we're all going to stand before the throne of God, and I believe one of the questions that will be posed is, what did you do while your nation was sliding? What did you do while the culture around you okay, was doing what it did? Obviously, we can't take on full responsibility for everything that happens because we're but men, we're but women, right? We're but people, okay? But ultimately, we do have a role to play, okay? This is my nation. I'm here in America, and I say this is my nation, and I take it upon myself to pray for her, to pray for my leaders like the Bible talks about. And I don't just lay down and say what's going to happen is going to happen. I may even believe that sometimes, right? I may even believe, well, you know, there's certain things that are going to happen because the Bible says it's going to happen in the end days. But still, who's to know what God might do in showing mercy, extending the time, if I pray. That's my attitude, and I pray this has been encouraging and exhorting to you as well. God bless you.